Here's a little video I'm, I'll give you. Not the typical flying stuff, but as a on my days off flying and I guess farming, I have a s small firewood business and there's two big hickory trees right there that died in a fire. So we're gonna cut those down and sell them. We, we sell basically any hickory we get for uh, smoking at restaurants at uh, in Des Moines. So and you can see I got a little help today. I got my oldest son over there, my grandson. My wife's even working around over here with uh, she's got the, I don't know if I can get a good video or not, she's got the DR back there. The DR run over about anything. There's times you say you don't run, there's times you say destroys everything, but we mow about anything that'll fit under that thing with it. There's the second load, first load of hickory. We had to mix woods my wife took, so she's taking that. You can see the frost, about a inch of inch of mud on the frost. There's a slop. A little fire getting her to brush. The tractor with the grapple. The stump grinder. It's kind of a mess. You can see there's where we're working. We got a little path here. It's not ideal, but it's what we're doing. And the infamous DR. Okay, here's after. It's a little colder. But it's after that other, those other two videos, but let's show you this oak tree. We trimmed this oak tree up. What it is, this is a white oak. I think they actually call it a bicolor or swamp white. Um, but we like to trim those in the winter when it's frozen because there is a bug that causes a, a oak wilt. So we trimmed it up now and we're going to try to leave that one. There's a bob wire in the base of it from the fence. That was a corner post of an old fence. Then we come back here, there's a couple dead hickories. Here's a hickory we're going to harvest. This will be ready for smoking next year. And also, this tree right here, this big one, in the fence row, it'll come out and that'll be used. So we're not going to cut much today. Our goal before planting on this piece is, if you see that real big tree down there, that's another big old white oak or swamp white or bicolor, whatever you want to call it. We'll clean up all these little trees till then and hopefully then we'll get more grass on this side. Eventually maybe we can make some grass hay or even put some clover off alpha here and make some hay. So and like I said, this ain't really a hay field, it's just something we're trying to clean up so it's you can use it. It'll be a good deer patch for hunting. Um, you won't have briars and all this buck brush in here so you can actually walk and enjoy it. So this is a hickory just cut down. Like I said, this is kind of our side firewood business. Back there by the tarp, we got our DR. We'll cover it because we'll be out here in just a couple days again. So then we, we hope to clean up that fence row just probably to where you see that pile of brush sitting there for this year. Let's kind of get started. And there's another big old oak tree and all we'll do on that, if we can get to it before it warms up, is we'll clean up those limbs on the bottom so we can drive the tractor around it without hitting the cab. So, there we are. Oh, and then, just so the, there's one the hickory cut down. That's another hickory that'll come out this year. There's an oak tree. Not the first one, the second one. There's an oak tree, and there's another hickory, the close one. Those will actually will probably come out this year. At least that's the plan, but as usual, everything takes more labor and more work. So we just cut this down, this hickory down, so we start drying. We'll cut in a few pieces, and we're going to quit for the day. I thought I'd show you one last thing before the end of the video. So this is that big oak tree in the corner, and you can see the line here. There's actually another one here, and then here's some old fence. Like I said, I don't know if you can see it down there, but there's an old orange fence post down there, and there's wire that comes in. It goes to this tree, and it goes down this other one. So I'm, I'm sure there's a ton of wire in this tree I actually can see one coming out right here so we'll leave this one until it meets its own demise which who knows maybe it'll be after i'm gone as well so we won't mess with this tree much at all but we'll just, all we did is clean it up took some of the dead wood out and we tried to make it so we can drive on that little easier and this one limb here on the towards us on the right side now that's a little low right near the base but so we won't go on this side but we can drive on it now and like i said we took out a lot of the dead wood um, which is not totally normal and you see there was a hickory on this side of it that we just cut down. What it does is trees work pretty well together because what it does is it dies back on the side. So every limb on this side is dead. So over the next 10, 20 years, there'll probably be a limb come out on this side where a hickory was. Now, hope you liked the video a little different than the flying. This is what I do on some of my days off. So you can call this a day off. And just so you know, like this is, this is what I call buck brush. It's just a, there's all sorts of stuff in here. There's different sorts of, raspberries thorny trees um i can't even think of what the normal buck brush is off the top of my head there's multiple rows which is not native in north america by the way it's introduced to a noxious weed as far as most people are concerned so 
so but there we are there's a little bit of farm work for you